Um, so a bit about me and my brother. So I'm Anand, I'm from India. So I'm pretty new here. I'm also pretty new to hacker spaces. So I'll just make my best effort to like explain this one. So yeah, I mean, um, so my brother had this uh, home server where he hosted a few, where we uh, self-hosted a few services. We tried like uh, handle like self-hosting in email server. And then we, for a brief period of time, we also had this uh, do social where we, uh, we where we like self-hosted a uh, social networking site, uh, and uh, um, yeah, we also self-hosted our blogs in an, using an Intel NUC uh, and uh, just an ADSL broadband connection. So uh, our uh, so the uh, so why do we need an UPS for this? So uh, this is back in India where we have like uh, frequent uh, power cuts, like it can go up to even 12 hours at some point of time. So uh, so our question is like, how do we uh, give uh, uh, give a backup for backup power supply for our server? So um, uh, for that, we could have gone with the standard UPS, which uh, uh, basically which like converts your AC power in a stores the battery and then where, where it goes where it becomes a DC and then it goes back gets converted into an uh, AC power uh, back into 230 volts AC power so um, our idea is like how do we make it like simpler without having uh, doing uh, undergoing all of those steps so that's where we thought like we should probably uh, try to make a DC UPS um so that uh, we can uh, give like a backup for our server so um uh, yeah so a uh, bit about this intel nuc so it is actually a really a low power server uh, like uh, it's it had a processor which is uh, pentium uh, quad core which is like actually it was like uh, similar to this intel atom series consuming like really low as 6 watts so we actually needed like a really small battery for it. So um, then um, for some time we were using a, a, a standard UPS battery, which is like 12 volts, seven uh, AH, which you can see in most UPSs. And uh, uh, that could give up to like uh, 12 hours of backup for this server. So, um, uh, so what I tried here is to like design a DC UPS to uh, give a, a like give Alex a, a backup for the server. So uh, I mean, like uh, we there are like a lot of uh, off the shelf UPS which we can go, but we added like an additional objective here. So like how do we uh, uh, use the most simplest available components? So uh, how do we? I mean, like we could go, go use like an SMD SMD electronic components and like really high end chips, uh, which would uh, uh, battery management chips are available. But those would not be available in uh, in a common store. So in a common store, what you would do, what you would get is through hole resistors. Uh, then you would get it, uh, the most common microcontroller, which is Atmega three twenty eight P. So yeah, and, and a, a very limited selection of connectors. So uh, uh, that was uh, one of our objectives. So to use the most uh, commonly available components uh, and make the circuit design simple uh, to the point that where it we could actually hand assemble, assemble it in a perf code. Uh, we didn't get to that point yet, but uh, that was our objective. And lithium batteries were out of the question. So we uh, went with sealed lead acid battery. Uh, one thing uh, at that point was a little expensive. And uh, with lithium batteries, you really need you need like good battery management systems. Otherwise, I mean, things could go really wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So that uh, uh, so the, that's what uh, so this is what we decided, and then, yeah, one of the advantages of this uh, uh, DCUPS. Could be that could be like lighter than a standard EPS if designed properly and also like more efficient. So this was the objective. So I mean I'll just uh, like 
the given we have how the design how we did in KiCad. So um, what we had as a power source was in the uh, uh, top left corner, which is in this Intel NUC adapter, which gives like 19 volts. And uh, to the uh, Intel NUC board, we had to give th this particular NUC, fortunately, could accept like a wide range of voltage, it, like 12 volts to uh, actually, yeah, 12 volts to 19 volts. So uh, the output of this UPS is like 12 volts. Uh, and fortunately, it is closer to the battery. Uh, so the, the battery's voltage is typically, it varies anywhere from like 10.4 volts to 14.4 uh, volts. Uh, so uh, that's a, that's something. So um, then uh, we, I had a buck converter, which like to convert, uh, step down the 19 volts into the battery's voltage. Uh, then I, uh, then, uh, for the microcontroller, we used At Atmega 328P uh, to like uh, manage the battery charging. So um, for battery charging, we used uh, uh, we plan to use like a three-stage charging uh, algorithm. So a, a very standard algorithm, which will be like implemented by the microcontroller. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, and then uh, like. Um, so when there is, uh, so then there are like other protection and uh, scatter circuits around this. Uh, so there is this um, uh, manual bypass you can see in the top uh, top right, which uh, can help us to like bypass the entire uh, board if something goes wrong. Uh, then we had the under voltage lockout system. Um, then in case the battery voltage is really low, we need to like cut it off. So we had this experience in which uh, the battery voltage went really low and our ser server's uh, hard disk uh, was damaged, like corrupted. So that under voltage lockout system. Um, then um, then there, there is a gate drive. As, uh, like, so for, for this also, like uh, we use the most commonly uh, available PWM IC that is uh, uh, in the local shop, which is like TL494. Um, um, then uh, we had like status and alert system in which uh, we had like a series of LEDs to display the charge, how much charge was there in the battery. And then a warning uh, beeper like in case the battery is low. Um, um, so yeah, this is the uh, basic uh, technical idea of it. So. Uh, I managed to get up to the point where we did a one iteration of this board. So I mean, I, unfortunately, I don't have any photos because I kind of lost it when my phone was gone. So I mean, like, this is a three D view of uh, from KiCad on how the, of the board. So yeah, the uh, this is how it looked like with all the true hole resistor components, and then we had this microcontroller here, and then I mean the, the input was supposed to be here and the output is here and the battery is supposed to be connected here and then we had a series of leds to like show the battery charge so yeah this is what uh, we had done so this is what till uh, we have gone uh, till this point so yeah i just thought like i would sh share it here